everybody. Darren Rory here from Race Coaching. Hey guys. Um, if you like our, our videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, for more content and information um, about various things that we've got going on. Um, but today we're just going to talk to you about our top five races. Um, so once again, I don't know what Rory selected, he doesn't know what I've selected, but we're just going to talk you through, show you medals or numbers if we've got them about our top five races and just really a brief bit about why they're important or special to us. Um, so yeah, if you want to take it away, Rory, start, start this time and um, yeah, I'll no pass soon. So it took a bit of hunting, a few numbers I struggled to find, but um, no particular order this because actually I think my mind changes quite frequently as to my kind of top races. And to be honest, I've got way more than five that I'd probably put in there. So these are kind of ones that just came front and centre uh, when we talked about it uh, earlier today. So I'll, I'll kick us off. I'll just um, start, with, uh, start with this one. So this is, uh, as you can see, it's a cancer research run, uh, also sponsored by Tesco's. I was number 559. This was one of the uh, kind of Race for Life 10Ks. Uh, you know, these, these were ones, I think they still do them. They tend to do a lot of the uh, women only ones as well now, but this was actually my first ever kind of official 10K. This was back in 2008, so I was at uni. Um, I ran this, my dad took me down there. Um, I ran in like a cotton t-shirt. Uh, in fact, I put a, a throwback photo on my Instagram a while back of me. I had hair, believe it or not. Uh, and um, yeah, I ran okay. It was, you know, it was, it wasn't a, an officially crazy race. It was, had a few styles to kind of jump over and stuff. I, I did all right. I think it came about 15th place uh, time, not a clue, probably mid forties at that point. Uh, but yeah, it, it was kind of, for me, important because it really got me into that running bug. And um, here's the medal I got for it as well. I forgot to, but an actual tiny medal by kind of today's standards just says cancer research and then cancer research 10K on it. Um, and this kind of just reminds me of um, kind of where my running journey properly started uh, as an adult, if you like, because I did a lot of stuff at school. But yeah, first one is the Cancer Research 10K run. So over to you, Daryl. Hit me. Okay, so for me, uh, it was uh, again a bit like yourself. I've got a number of um, events that I've done over the years that maybe if we go back 20 years or so, great races, but you didn't really get a medal when you finished or you just got um, a drink and a snack or something like that. And actually some of these races were great, but you never really had anything to um, symbolize how you'd got on or, or, or kind of help you remember really. So um, but how I presented mine is um, again, in kind of sort of going back into almost like date order. So going from kind of um, some way back to almost the modern day. So, um, but my, um, my race number one, in my top five will be the red in half marathon and this is the medal from 2004 um, and again i'm just looking when i was selecting these comparing them to the medals of today um the kind of almost dinner plate size compared to what you would have mm. seen here um, and all i can kind of remember from finishing was collecting this maybe giving you a full blanket and a, and a you know bottle of water to take away with you but um but this for me was um, back in 2004, as I said, it was the first year that they changed the course so it finished in the football stadium, um, which was amazing because then you'd have yeah, thousands of fans lining the, mm. um, the uh, it was down the one of the, 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 the sides of the pitch um, and you went through the finish line and then they funneled you back out. But um, for me, I finished, um, it kind of was part of a good winter that I'd had. So um, still living in Reading at the time before I moved over to Basingstoke. Um, it was, uh, yeah, I finished 10th. Um, so yeah, you got a massive cheer on entering the stadium because there's not really many people around you. Um, so for that reason, it kind of really stands out and kind of something you'll remember from finishing like I did. Um, and yeah, despite not the biggest medal in the world, it was just a great day. Um, yeah, just had a really good run, great race. And that's where my PB for my half marathon stands to this day. And it came from there. So yeah, red and half marathon. Um, they still do the finish in the stadium to this day. Um, yesterday um, would have been um, the race again. But for, as we're in lockdown, it's, uh, it's not on. So yeah, but um, yeah, if you've never done it, do recommend it. Great race. Nice. Right, my number four. Uh, I'm going to go for, literally go for, I'm going to go for this one. 
So this is the Clarendon Marathon 2009. Um, I've no idea why I've got a question mark on my number. Uh, yeah, not a clue. So this was, um, and here is also the accompanying medal. Quite a smart little medal, actually. Um, it's it's definitely not in bad nick, actually, considering it's kind of been well, it's 11 years old. Now, the ribbon's seen better days, mine. But yeah, this is my first marathon. If you can see it closely, you'll see it's got Winchester Cathedral on it. So this race uh, was actually my first ever marathon. Um, and wow, what a baptism of fire. Um, to give you an idea, this my finishing time for this uh, was about an hour and 50 minutes slower than my current PB. So it gives you an idea. I mean, admittedly, this is a trail marathon. This is a tough course, but it's beautiful. Uh, if anyone gets a chance to do a marathon, do this race. Uh, it runs from Winchester, uh, sorry, Salisbury to Winchester. Some years they run it the other way around, but it's a beautiful course, very, very nice. Um, and for me, yeah, it will always be one of the most memorable ones because it was my first marathon. It was a very emotional finish for me. I burst in steel when I finished. Uh, I have no qualms with missing that. Um, and yeah, it kind of really gave me the marathon bug. I've, I think yeah, I've done seven now. Um, I'm sure I'll do many, many more. And uh, yeah, this is number four for me, the Clarendon Marathon 2009. Over to you. So, oh, again, you're going to see some old school medal here. Um, so this is another half um, that I've selected. Um, it uh, again dates back to 2004, so it was topping off a, a particularly good season that I'd had at the time. And this was, um, so it's the Bracknell Half Marathon from 2004. And what it actually did as well, because being a, a, a lad that was born in Reading and still to this day go back and do um, the county championships in Berkshire, this basically entering this race and finishing where I did actually won me the title of the Berkshire County Champion for a half marathon that year. And it topped off um, a fairly decent season in a way um, where I'd had a good winter. And then actually through through the summer, I ended up winning winning the, the, the 5K and the steeplechase that summer. So this is a, a very small medal. So this is what it came in. And that is it. <laughs> So yeah, it's, hang on, uh, hang on. it's certainly uh, yeah, not to it. <laughs> uh, it's certainly not to standards of um, uh, what you see to the, to this day. But um, no, it's an important medal. So um, I may have I can't remember rightly. I may have received a, an actual proper finishers medal um, from that event. But mm. uh, this was one that I kind of definitely kept and and, and stood out. And um, and also quite funny for that is uh, it was a really hot day. So certainly not really conducive to running sort of quick times even though I ran relatively quick anyway but because it was really the back end of April it was quite a warm day um, but they had some really weird finishers prizes so for the top three men got some quite bizarre um, prizes and I remember myself winning a, a an in charge in car charger back ma massager as you plug the point into where like the cigarette light was you'd sat on it and then you could activate that while you were driving along so i think they had some really? kind of weird electric and you, you still use that yeah to, yeah you still use that. i have literally no idea where it is so uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah um uh, but yeah so that uh, the, the race still runs um i don't know if they changed the course because i certainly haven't done it kind of since then but um yeah my medal or my county medal from the Berkshire, um from the sorry the bracknell half marathon in 2004 Cool. So, right. Uh, next one for me, number three. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for this one. So, um, matching your rather fetching T-shirt, Daryl. So, my number three. Uh, again, not in any particular order. So, this is the uh, Manchester Marathon, uh, 2019. So, last year. Uh, I know many people watching will have done it. Uh, obviously, unfortunately, a lot of people would have been planning to do it um, as of uh, yesterday. Fortunately, due to what's going on, it wasn't able to go ahead. But um, those who have done it know it's a great race, really well supported. The uh, reason why this is in there for me is, is probably quite obvious to a lot of people. Um, just probably bang on about it enough. But um, And there's, there's the medal as well. Um, I've got the relay one in case you eagle-eyed people are, uh, amongst you can notice that because my other one is actually sat up there in a frame uh, on the wall. So I, I dare not kind of uh, take it off because it's with those weird kind of strips and stuff. So I'll probably pull half the wall down. Um, so yeah, this this was the first marathon I did where I broke three hours, something I've been trying to do for a, a quite a number of years. And those who have done it know it is a pretty big challenge uh, given that a marathon 
uh, is a beast of a race. Um, yeah, so that for me was a huge moment. Uh, Daryl was there as well, uh, clapping me in. He probably remembers, so he was ahead of me. Um, but yeah, it was it. Yeah, loads of us had great days that day. We went out, celebrated. It was just a yeah, one of those days where all the training becomes worth it. And uh, yeah, just a, a really good race for me. So yeah, number three on there is Manchester Marathon 2019. Over to you, sir. Okay, so I've gone four in this case. Um, I think it was the second year that this event was ever on, um, and it's getting incredibly popular year on year. I've actually got last year's medal, but this is the first year that I ever did it. And as I said, I think it was year two. Um, there certainly wouldn't have been the, the numbers that you get now, but that is in Jaw 24. So this is the medal from 2013. Can you see that? So wow. plain ribbon, nothing on there. At that time, they had uh, basically no sponsors on board. Mizuno weren't um, quite involved at yet. Um, but yeah, for, for us, it was a case of, um, I was actually there on a working capacity. And um, the, the guys from Mizuno actually at the time just uh, came over to us and just goes, we've been given a spot. Do you guys want to run? Um, and this was on the Friday when we were setting up and it was just spare the moment. Yeah, go on then, we'll do it. Um, literally no, no tactics were employed at all. Uh, we scraped together um, from, again, other kind of partners to the race. We scraped together um, seven runners. So we didn't even have a full team of eight, but we ran in the eight-man category. And, um, yeah, just ran. Just literally ran. Um, I remember doing um, a double lap at sort of 10 o'clock at night and then going out again at 2 o'clock in the morning, um, having run a few times before. But, um, yeah, just remembering what it was like when we finished um yeah and as you can see those of you that are watching this and that have done this race over the years um and would have potentially been doing it this year as well you know where it's come from it's now as they say like the glastonbury um of running yeah. events because it really is um and that's yeah that's medal from 2013 and then obviously where you can see they've evolved so yeah it's completely different now but yeah it's an event that um i think i've pretty much done ever since um you know at the time when you finish you realize you are quite bad at having done as much running as you've done over those 24 hours but it's a great race you just find yourself going back and back year on year so um yeah for me that's um number three in jewel 24. Cool. So number two, um, I'm going to go with this one. So um, quite a unique race this. So for me, uh, I don't have a medal for this and I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, this was the Bucks Outdoor Championships. So the reason why this is quite special. Uh, so this was back in 2012. Um, so this actually took place as a test event for the uh, Olympics, which were obviously hosted uh, in the UK, in London. So uh, all the universities, so I was at the University of Winchester here doing my master's at this point, uh, running for the University of Winchester. Um, so we got the opportunity to uh, be part of a test event where they would have 40,000 people come in, uh, run all the events on the track just to test out all the logistics basically and readiness for the Olympics. So I actually got the chance to run on the track in the Olympic Park, uh, which is incredible. I did the 5,000 metres. I really uh, milked the number of laps I got to run on there. Um, I got absolutely destroyed beyond belief. Uh, you know, um, I I think I ran 18, 20 something. Um, and to give you an idea, I think the winner was like low 14s. So I got lapped numerous times. I was last by miles. Um, There's some serious, serious runners there, a lot of whom are now professional. Um, but I didn't care. Uh, I got clapped on my last lap. I had a great time. Um, and just the experience alone to get, kind of be part of that was um, was why I love this day. So uh, yeah, the Bucks Outdoor Challenge uh, Championships is uh, one of my uh, memorable races. So over to you. Okay, so number two. Um, again, this is quite sentimental, um, and this was one of the first um, kind of masters races I did. Um, a few years back, um, and that is the the Westminster Mile. Um, oh. I had to wait actually a few weeks for this because um, some logistical reason they didn't actually have the medals when we finished. 
Um, but yeah, Westminster Mile, it starts, there is on, on the back, I don't know if you can kind of see too much, but you start, if I bring it right close, you start on the mile. It's an entire day of um, mile races, basically, um, where it's, it's uh, the, the kind of the final race of the day is topped off with a, an elite British race. It's all the top kind of 1500 meter mile runners in the, in the UK come and run. Um, and but they you're also, in that, uh, yeah? No, not quite. <laughs> um, but no, they do a, a like a park run challenge that for those us, I guess, that have done um, you know several park runs and mm. they can enter it to um, other open races and so on. Um, but I, um, yeah, no, I, I ran um, in the the British Masters Champs. Um, I can't really remember where I finished. I do remember breaking five minutes that day, um, but I can't exactly remember where I was overall. But no, great race. It was a nice, warm, sunny day. It's dead flat because you just literally go in a big square and finish back um, not far from where you actually started. Um, so it's quite bizarre because you, you sort of spend all your time traveling there, warming up, and then the race is done and dusted within literally less than five minutes. So it's a great medal. Um, and yeah, just had great fun, great fun. Um, you know, and then literally you're, you're, you're hot footing it back home again within, within minutes of finishing. So, um, no, good, good, good day. Um, got to race some, some, some great guys that I've raced against over the years. So yeah, important. And, um, yeah, as I said, quite sentimental as well. So that was number four for me. So the final one for me, um, this probably is my favorite race i think um, certainly at the minute um, i don't know if that's because it's fairly fresh um not sure but i think just the experience i had of doing it so um for me i've got a t-shirt on it's the chicago marathon so uh, anyone who's done this will hopefully vouch that this is an incredible race i've never been to a race with such incredible sport the americans know how to support a race not to say that the uk british people don't but these guys really know how to put on a party. Um, just from start to finish, we obviously made this a long, longer trip. Um, it was Michelle's first marathon as well. Um, and yeah, it, ah, yeah, it was just fantastic. Um, you know, the whole trip, the, the race, I had a perfect race, um, which is hard to do, I think, in a marathon. Uh, it all, all seemed to go to plan. I did PB, uh, it's the best I've ever felt in a race, uh, certainly in a marathon. Um, the medal as well is an absolute corker. Um, so you see there, um, and then I actually got it engraved by Nike uh, the following day in a very big queue where I think my bank balance went down a bit after uh, I bought a lot of Nike stuff. That's obviously how they get you in, but yeah, this for me was a phenomenal race. It is part of the six marathon majors, which I'm trying to complete at the moment. So this was number three. Uh, so I've got New York later this year, um, but yeah, phenomenal race. Um, if you get the chance, absolutely do this race. It is unbelievable so um can't can't kind of uh, big it up enough so that is my number one race so over to you now for the final one final one so mine aren't in necessarily in order um i've not done a bit like my shoes i've just sort of put them in kind of date order to the kind of up to the modern day um but my last one i'm going to talk about is the uh, forest five um in bracknell okay and this is last year's medal the 2019 running um, we're still yet to see if it will take place this year because it takes place in June. So whether or not that will come together and we'll be out of lockdown by then. Um, but no, for me, the lookout is a fantastic place to kind of run around. And if you've never been there before, it's Black Bracknell Forest, basically. Um, go and explore. Um, you know, over the years, certainly for training for some of the other races that I've been talking about, often used to just drive out and go for, say, long Sunday runs there or, or just go for, a, you know, a midweek run. Um, it's, you know, it's only half an hour down the road from me. Um, so, yeah, would go there and just explore the trails and kind of let yourself get lost a bit. Um, so, yeah, this, this race explores a lot of those routes that I probably would have been on in the past. Um, it's hilly at times but it's just so scenic. It's a really friendly race. Um, not too many, I think they, they cap it a couple of hundred runners so that actually it's not oversubscribed. But yeah, brilliant event, um, great support. Yeah, and just, just somewhere I've, you know, again, one of my most sort of favorite running locations to look out really. So um, if you ever get a chance to do it, um, I'd highly recommend it. 
Um, yeah, this was, as I said, 2019's medal. The year before, they had a wooden medal, which was, um, again, particularly nice. I would show it to you, but I'd have to get up and rummage around and try and find that. But um, no, super fun race. Highly recommend it. Cool. Thanks, Dale. So, yeah, there's our kind of uh, whistle stop tour of our kind of uh, top five races. Again, no real order for, for some of them. Um, again, by all means, drop us comments, messages with your favourite races, uh, send us pictures, whatever you like. Um, obviously, it's frustrating at the moment we can't get out there and race, but I think, you know, when you get a moment, do reflect back on some of the races you've done because it's quite nice to do sometimes. And uh, I think it would just get us more kind of spurred on so that when races are back, um, we can kind of just remember. Uh, why we love them and uh, go from there so yeah enjoy the rest of your day guys and uh, yeah we hope you enjoyed our video see you soon